In life, you need to walk before you run. Buy in before you drop in. Know that your buddy has your back before you truly feel home. Sometimes, from the outside, it looks so easy. Like you can just slap on a leg and start running. Transfer into a chair and go. Leave the front lines behind and take the fight to the new enemies of inertia and complacency. But it's not. It takes time. It takes support. It takes belief. And, as often as not, it takes a mentor to show you the way. As a young amputee, I experienced this firsthand. My parents did their best to help, but ignorance and indifference shut doors and stifled opportunities, leaving me on the sidelines. Then I met a woman named Patty Rosbach who changed my world. She showed me what I could do and pushed me to be who I am today. She set me on the path that I still travel and taught me the importance of passing the baton. Now, the Challenged Athletes Foundation is continuing that tradition, linking young and newly injured athletes with experienced mentors to help them reach their full potential in sports and in life. Mentoring can open new frontiers for kids and for families, helping them reach new heights and go places they never imagined. My name is Kamaka and my mentor is Christian. Yeah, I've known Kamaka since he was four. Um, and we, we hooked up at the US Open of Surfing in Huntington Beach and kind of hit it off from there. It's definitely a, a, a relationship that's blossomed over the years. I just try and be, you know, good role model, good influence, you know, trying to uh, help him push the balance of possibility, you know, challenge his own kind of uh, mindset, his own preconceptions. It's, it's incredible, and we, we're so fortunate to have Christian in our life right now. And Christian right away said, stop pushing him, stop putting him in the car, let him do his own thing, and that was the biggest difference in his life. Now he gets, he does everything and he doesn't want anybody to touch him. He says, Dad, I got it, I got it, which is like awesome because I know he's gonna be okay in life, right? People kind of have these, this preconceived notion of kids in chairs, like they're, they're, they're this you know, delicate vase where if they fall, they're gonna shatter into a million pieces on the ground. And in many cases, it's the exact opposite. Most people can't wrap their heads around the, the fact that these kids are a lot more mentally tough than, than able-bodied kids in most cases, just because they've been through so much. My goal is to do a backflip when I'm 10. The really critical thing is it, is it equalizes the playing field. No longer do other kids look at them and see a kid in a chair. They see someone who's on wheels, no different than they are. Mentoring can help young girls not only survive, but thrive after life-threatening and life-altering cancer. My name is Alex and my mentor is Breezy. When I was 12, I got diagnosed with osteosarcoma and I went through about 10 months of chemo and I made a decision to amputate my leg. When I lost my leg, a lot of people would normally like be really down and kind of lose hope, but I thought, what's the point of losing hope? Like, use all you have, like don't take it for granted. Like with my prosthetic and with Challenge Athletes, I thought like I can do something good with this. I wasn't really sure how everything was gonna turn out. When I met Breezy, I felt more stable, I guess. Being able to meet someone like me who knows everything and has been through it. We talk about our prosthetics and about what sports we do and it's really fun that me and Alex have this close bond now because of what we went through. I don't know what other people do that are not able to have a family uh, and friends um, that have been down that road to show them that there are things out there, organizations like CAF and opportunities for everybody. And for amputees, it's no different. It's been absolutely amazing. Mentoring also can help our wounded troops make it from the front line to the finish line. I am Eric McElvenny, retired captain of the United States Marine Corps. I was injured in Afghanistan on December 9, 2011. Uh, when I was recovering at the, the Naval Medical Center in San Diego, I was around a bunch of other wounded Marines and sailors. That provided me with uh, an example to follow. These guys were doing it. There were guys that were injured uh, way worse than my, myself, and they were 
in the gym, they were lifting, they were moving, moving on with their lives, and it inspired me to, to go and do something similar. Daniel Riley, Corporal, United States Marine Corps, retired. I was injured on December 16th, 2010. Operation Rebound Athletes are, are a great community to push me in, in trying new things and getting better at things and trying new sports. There's nothing like a bunch of other Marines pushing you to, to go faster, to go harder, to go further. I love Operation Rebound because they were there when, when I was in a very difficult place, when I needed that example. Hopefully, my actions of being out there and living my life not only benefits me, but hopefully benefits some other guy coming up behind me. It's an honor to carry on their tradition. Sometimes we all need a helping hand, a gentle nudge, or a role model to be our best selves. With real support and friendship, we can achieve any goal and reach any milestone. Be who we were meant to be and pass it on to the next generation of athletes. That is the power of mentoring. And that's why CAF supports mentoring relationships. I'm Sarah Reinertsen, and my mentor is Patty Rossback. <laughs>